Hmm. Something about this house makes you suspicious. You can't quite put your finger on it. The place looks perfectly normal after all. But you can't shake the feeling that there's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. I guess you'll see, won't you? No name on it, unmarked. Approach the door hesitantly. You'll be getting yourself into a real bad situation. A cellar door. Man, I bet it's all kind of horror down there. Like some kind of medieval torch dungeon. It's locked. But is it locked to keep you out or to keep something in? Whoa, it's a plot co lock. Those things are unpickable. Plot co lock. <clears throat> you knock on the door. A voice inside calls out, Come in, it's open. It's always open. The door creaks open and you step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of wicked-looking knives and shears. A man of indeterminate age and slightly hunched posture grins widely as you enter, his eyes gleaming. He's standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor. Um. Hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast. Uh. Oh, sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? Yeah, it makes lud sound like lud. Uh. A beard and breakfast. I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get that at all. Uh huh. There's a lot of blood on the floor here. Kettle. Uh, sleepy time and Earl Grey. Sorry, that's private. That's my blood room. Your what? My blood room. My bedroom. Oh, right, gotcha. This is a large collection of steel chains and hooks, as well as knives, shears, and other bladed influence. Everything is covered with rust, or possibly dried blood, or possibly both. Ah, you've noticed my... collection. Yeah, it's, uh, dramatic. It all belonged to my father, and his father before him. They were... butchers. And you? <laughs> I do a little bit, but not... professionally. I broke with the family tradition to run my little blood and breakfast. Uh, I can't help but notice you have a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh no, no. I can see why you might think that. That is a certainly... Run like blood, <laughs> but this is tomato soup. Tomato soup. Yes, I... Spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning it up when you arrived. I see. Chuck is staring at you. You notice that his left eye has a tendency to drift sideways as he, as he stares and then reset when he blinks, which is not often enough. Uh, excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? You said you're running a bed and breakfast here? That's what I slewed, yes. Uh, has a mailman been by recently? Why, yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. I hope you just mean that he left. I like to think he'll always be here. In spirit. Could I have a look at the guest room? It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has only just checked out. I need to clean up the mess. Oh, what's on the menu? Homemade sausages and tomato soup. I also have a special tea blend that's a real knockout. What kind of sausages? Long pork sausages, my grandfather's own recipe. Did you just say long pork? That's right, I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. 
This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. You mentioned a special tea blend? Yeah, it's a special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Huh. Thanks. Sleepy time and Earl Grip. Switch the labels. You surreptitiously swap the labels. Chuck doesn't seem to have noticed. Oh no, I already did that, okay. Uh, uh, what's on the menu? Special tea blend. Oh, that reminds me. I left the kettle on. The water should be boiled by now. Would you care for a tough cup of tea? No thanks, I'm good. Chuck pours himself a cup of tea and sips it while staring at you. After a bit, he starts to look drowsy. Oh my, I'm coming over all sleepy. Perhaps I should get my food down for a few minutes. It has been a long day. Please excuse me. Sure. Alright, nothing else I can mess with. This door leads to Chuck's bloodroom or perhaps bedroom. Chuck's creepy bedroom. Going through Chuck's drawers seems like maybe not a good idea. There is a key on top of the dresser, though. Yoink. You unlock the door and steal yourself for what you're about to see. Hmm. Doesn't look nearly as horrific down here as you expected. Unless you're particularly horrified by an unmade bed. This looks like the missing bag of mail. All right, grab it. Looks up by previous guests. There are quite a few good books on here, actually. Modern Snake Oiler, Locks in How to Pick Them, Horrifying Concepts of Next Max. Uh, Lockpick and Expertise. Oh, no, I've already gotten that one, okay. You've already learned all the techniques in this magazine. You do manage to pick up a few tips and tricks from the letters to the other, though, so it's not a complete waste. Alright. Huh. So, like I figured, all the creepiness was just to lead us astray. I mean, he was creepy. Yeah, but it was, that wasn't actually blood, and all the stuff he said was true. As you're climbing out of the cellar, a mailman approaches you. Well, thank goodness you found my mail. This mailbag is yours? Yes, I've been stressed out lately, so I took a day off and rented a room here for a sort of mini vacation. Chuck's a great guy, a little weird, I guess, but real personable. And his cooking is great. Tomato soup and those great big sausages. His tea did wonders for my insomnia, too. It seemed pretty effective. Anyway, I forgot my mailbag and wasn't sure when I left it, so I've been retracing my steps for ages. Thanks for finding me. Sure, no problem. Here you go. Man, man walks away with the bag over his shoulder, whistling a cheerful tune. That's sorted, I guess. Can I wake him up? Hi. Yeah, wakes up, Chuck. Hi. All right, I guess we're done here then. Seems like an, yes, an odd end to it. All right, uh, let's start going to these new locations and doing this stuff. Uh, actually, wait, don't I have letters? Uh, you did have one Roy Bean. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go deliver that actually real quick. Maybe he'll give me that expensive jelly bean. That's the jelly bean thieves hideout. I did figure out what that's used for. So I clicked the wrong thing, so I'll have to. Walk again after. Alright. I found this letter addressed to you. Letter? You hand over the letter. He opens it, reads it, snorts derisively, and tots it into the fireplace behind him. Thanks, anyway. Okay. 
still want it. Okay, well that that was that was done. That's done. Okay. Uh, let's see. What have I not been to? Uh, the West Pole, Reboot Hill, Baker Boys Hideout. Yeah, let's take care of the. Let's do the yeast at the Old Schmaltz Brewery first. Uh, play the snake. Don't you have advanced um the alchemy shit now, so you can make better stuff at that kit? Uh, yeah, I think I think I do. Probably go do that. I'm gonna check this area out first. Okay. Ah, uh, a yeast monster. You know what, Rhino? I think let's go take care of that right now. What? Are you afraid of a yeast monster? I choose not to answer this question. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's make potions. The spleen. Add some medicine. Venom gland. Add some medicine. Alright, all right, well, that's all I can make. Alright. Alright, I made myself really angry. Alright. Alright, now I guess. How good is that stuff you just made out of curiosity? Huh? How good is that stuff you just made? Uh, deals hot damage to an enemy, sets them on fire. Hot damage to an enemy. Item drop bonus by 20% for the rest of the day. Range Pretty damage good. by 20 for the rest of the day. Max HP by 25 for the rest of the day. That range damage by 20 is good shit. Yeah. Alright. If you could make more of that, you could easily give yourself like 60 plus damage from that alone. Alright, let's deal with this now. Beer hose. It says beer hose. You're not really sure what purpose it might have served. This fellow's too scared to talk to you. He's just totally freaked out about yeast. This dead guy's hat got knocked off and covered with yeast. Nope, I don't want that. It's the Kelly. Where's the, where's the thing again? There we go. Yeast beast seems to have killed this guy pretty thoroughly. Some kind of crazy yeast monster has apparently broken loose from the vats and eaten some of the bandits. Guess they brewed up something they couldn't put down. They can barely control it. You'll have to hop to it if you want to prevail here. Uh, someone was having fun with that. I win. Beat, you beat the yeast beast to a pulp. The remains of the horrible yeast beast. I guess you can take some back to the bear? Probably still good, right? Sure. Half a ton of yeast. So this whole yeast theft biz doesn't seem to have gone well for you guys. Yeah, no, I... Oh, jeez, are you a bounty hunter? <sighs> Relax. The mayor just wants his yeast back. He didn't say anything about hauling you in. Oh, okay. Well, the yeast is in that revolting pile. So what happened here? Well, we got bored of bread is all. I know a bit about brewing, and I figure if we came back with a couple kegs, nobody would mind so much if we stole the yeast. No offense, but it seems like you aren't much of a brewer. Hey. Well, ideally, you wouldn't you wouldn't end up with a ravenous yeast monster. That wasn't my... Okay, well, I guess it was my fault, but I, didn't, I understand what happened. These vats are old, and we didn't clean them properly first because we were in a hurry. There were some frogs living in one of them. And you figured you could use the extra hops? <laughs> <laughs> if you're sure you've got it figured out, you can set up shop in dirt water. Oh? Yeah, it's turning into quite a little metropolis. I'd love to have my own place. Okay, I'll go check it out. Uh, three cans of beer. Nothing left to do in any of this. Now he's too grumpy to talk to you. He's just angrily muttering about yeast. I arrest him. You're under arrest! What, stealing two handfuls of yeast? Yes! And the sentence for that is what, about three days in jail? Uh. And Breadwood does not actually have a jail? Alright, I'll let you off with a warning this time. <laughs> <laughs> like, you win this round. Alright, uh, Baker Boys hideout next. Oh, hey, you found your crate! You don't remember losing your crate, but it must be yours because it has mine stenciled on the side. Uh. <laughs> 
I'm smart. Rhino, it's a carry. Uh. Got a tuna cactus. Gave, local weed. Nothing, nothing, long cold, nothing, nothing. These teenagers seem dispirited and are trying to drown their sorrows with big mugs of water. Maybe they misunderstood the idiot. Hey, you boys want to know about some bread that went missing, would you? Oh, nuts. I told you we'd get in trouble, Biddy. No? Okay, follow me. Yeah, all you. <laughs> Shut Jerry. Way to blab everything, dude. Calm down, you two. Mayor just wants his bread back. Hand it over and the trouble you're in will be minimal. Ain't that simple, miss mister. We sold that bread for meat to start up this bakery. Why? We want to make some of our lives. Everyone in Breadwood is just bums. Looks well, like everyone needs bread, right? So we figure we make it big. Okay, well, no problem. We take the mayor you bre the bread you've made and call it even. Oh yeah, no problem, except for the fact that we don't know anything about making bread, it turns out. All we ended up with is weird lumps. Hey, true Billy, that last loaf we tried was almost right. Yeah, sure, we, that was nearly edible, but we're practically out of ingredients. Maybe I can help. Uh, I might know someone, I know a place, I know, I've got an idea. Use some of your unlimited resources. I might know. So is that the the was? Isn't that the girl who was like the baker girl? That might work too. I kind of want to help her, but like also this stuff could help. I imagine. I imagine you might need all of it. If I'm honest, just start from the top. I might know someone who could help you out. You two know Luis Lathrop? No, who's that? She might just be the solution to your problems. Let me head on over to where she lives and talk to her for you. Go now. Also, yeah, this is the the silvered barbed wire. I never figured out what to do with that. I'm proud you did. Uh, I do happen to know of a bakery that needs some help. Really? That's wonderful. Oh, jeez, I can't go like this, though. I'm a filthy. No, I don't even step foot in their kitchen look like this. Do you have a bar of soap I can move you off you? Sure, no problem. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Give her a bar of soap at direction to the Bakery Boys Bakery, and she sets off to find somewhere to take a bath before her job interview. Alright, now I guess go back there and see if it needs some of your unlimited resources. Please need my bones. Yeah, I don't have anything to fear anymore, so... I'm gonna try to stop buffing myself too much. Uh, super buff. One hit everything. You see Louis Lathrop busily baking bread. Billy Baker hops to his feet as you enter. Hey, thanks for sending Louise over. She knows a ton about baking. Yeah, we're gonna be major league bakers with her around. No problem, fellas. Let me grab enough bread to settle things with the mayor and we'll call it square. 40 loaves of bread. Damn, she did get to work fast. Thanks for helping us get our bakery started, mister. We're going to be famous before you know it. Don't mention it. Oh, you will save the same thing? Okay. What does Luis say? The shelf is com uh, com comprehensively breaded. If bread were money, these boys would be rich now. Big Baker's oven is warm and fragrant. The staff of life. Bread. Glorious bread. Why? Well, hey, thanks so much for all your help. Well, I guess we don't get to see what the bones would have done. <laughs> I think it's just another way to solve this. How would Bones have helped? How would Bones not have helped? <laughs> People shouldn't have to ask for boneless bread. Well, bone meal is part of bread. I guess it would be that, yeah. Okay. Alright, let me turn in the stuff I have currently. Any luck recovering our yeast for those bandits up the old Schmaltz Brewery? Yep. Well done, that's quite a help, thank you. Happy to help. Did you get our bread back from those miserable baker boys? I sure did. Thank hey, goodness for that, another missed payday would have caused a riot for sure. Glad we avoided that. Uh, no logging permit, and, but I got the missing mail! Found the missing mailman too, he's on his way to deliver it. 
Excellent. I hope there's a new issue of Mayor's Monthly. Sounds informative. Now about that lumber. Oh. All right. Well, you helped me out quite a bit, so I reckon I could set you up with what you need for that bridge. Thanks. I'm still going to do this last thing, though. Also, hang on. <laughs> bad lumber deal. We're giving lumber to the railroad company for, like, no meat at all, and that's bad. <laughs> all the mail is here, but nobody seems to care. All right, I'm gonna... I Okay, I need to deal with that last thing. What was the... Deadwood. Uh... Forgetting about anything. Long the from the Ghostwood bureaucrats. And that's everything. All right. Welcome. Salute! Huh, all the buildings in this little town are weirdly hazy and translucent, like... Oh, ghosts. It's a literal ghost town. All right, fair enough. Might expect to be able to just walk straight through the door of a ghost building with some kind of force to prevent again. Guess you could knock on the force. Your fist makes a distant, echoey plap sound on the barroom door, and a ghostly voice comes out of nowhere. Howdy there, fella. New in town. Yeah, I was wondering if... Sorry, I can't do business with you until you have a visitor identification card. Ain't supposed to even talk to you, really. Okay, where do I get one? Try the town hall. Down at the end of the street. Thanks. Wait, what? Someone's mounted a pencil sharpener on one of the balcony posts for some reason. I have no pencils to sharpen. Stable, jail, office supply. There we go, town hall. Your fist makes it this and blah, 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 ghostly voice. Ah, visitor. You'll be needing a visitor identification card. I guess so. I'll be happy to help fill in the forms. Most living people have trouble holding the pages. You'll be needing a number three pencil. If you're filling in the form, can't you just use your own pencil? I will be, but the instructions very clearly st state that the applicant must have a number three pencil. A number three pencil? Is it a number two pencil, the usual kind? I suppose, but a number three pencil is 50% more official. Well, okay, where can I get one? Try to the Department of Requisitions. It's just next door. You mean the general store? It's a little more specific these days, but yes. Alright. I see what they did there. Hello, excuse me, I need a... Sorry, I can't help you unless you have a visitor ID. But I need a pencil for... No visitor ID, no supplies. <sighs> Hello? The general store won't give me a pencil without a visitor ID. No, certainly not. They aren't authorized to deal with anyone who doesn't have an ID. So how am I supposed to get a number three pencil? I suppose I could issue you a temporary Vista permit. You don't need a pencil for that one. Okay, great. What's your last name? Ryan again. First name? Maximus. Middle name? Nice. <laughs> it's Marshall, actually. Wait, do, did I need to be correct? I'm pretty sure, yeah, but you'll find out, won't you? Great, where are you from? Maximus Nice Ryan again. I'm staying in dirt water at the moment. Oof, well, if you sit your sights low enough, you'll never be disappointed. All right, how many bars are in the window of the Adjunct Department of Records? What? It's a quiz to make sure you've actually been paying attention and care about the little town instead of just breezing through to show your dedication. Eight? Your sign is not a paper being torn up. Nope, go count them and try again. Okay, all right, all right. Wait, is that is that the jail that they're referring to? I'm guessing so. It said, did it say the window or the whole building? Fuck, I don't know. Six in the window, four in the door. All right, God, it's, there's probably going to be other stuff they uh, they want us to uh, answer. Uh, oh yeah, this whole town is a pain in the ass. Is that a <sighs> ghost cactus? Ryan again, Ma Maximus Nice Ryan. I don't care. I'm doing nice until it says I'm wrong. Uh, a little farm outside Boring Springs. Boring Springs, never heard of it. What's it like? Well, it's not much to look at, but it's home. That's nice. Okay. Right, how many bars are in the windows of the Outer Department of Records? Uh, six. Correct. All right, everything seems to be in order. Here's your temporary business pass. Oh, thanks. 
it expires in 11 seconds. Run. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I need a number three pencil. Uh, hello. How can I help you, Mr. Brian again? Pencil. No problem. We'll just need you to fill out a requisition form. Okay. Yes, I've decided half the people in this town are Irish. Last name. Brian again. Oh, sorry. Looks like your visitor permit has expired. Have a nice day. But. All right. So then at this point, I'm going to stop reading it when you're on this time to park because it does not help. Oh, like it, it is actually. Oh, it is legitimately 11 seconds. All right. So just yeah, ask a few questions. What's your last name? What's your first name? What's your middle name? Where are you from? Quiz. Correct. Run, bitch. <laughs> Pants up. Last name. Instant. Oh, sorry, expired. What? That was not 11 seconds. You're right, it wasn't. All right, go try talking to her again. Max Smith. I notice how Marshall isn't on there anymore, interestingly enough. Wait, what was that last one answer on there? I go wherever the wind takes me. Okay. Maybe there's the temporary pass is basically useless. If there's someone else somewhere else you can find a pencil around here. It's not actually timed right now. I thought it was. Is there one oh wait, is that a snail? Is that a ghost snail over in the lower left? Huh. I think it's a ghost rock. Oh, is there one in the ghost cactus? Yes, there is. Number four pencil. Fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe it'll be good enough. Oh, <laughs> you grind off about a quarter of it. Right. A number three pencil. Here it is. That's a number four pencil. No, it's 75% of a number four pencil. The oh, fuck, you got me there. <laughs> I see. I don't suppose anything. I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it'll do to get started on the visitor identification permit. Thank God. Last name. Right again. First name. Maximus. Middle name. Nice. Maximus Nice right again. Yep, that matches what it says here. Good. Where are you from? Boring Springs. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. It's here. It's a real crap hole. Okay, next question. How many bars are in the windows of the Adjunct Department of Records? Six. Nope, I'm afraid I'd be a little more observant than that. But it was six last time. I didn't ask the same question last time. God damn it. I just noticed it. How can I have... Right again! Maximus! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Boring Springs! Ten! Connect all right, everything seems to be in order. Allow me to officially welcome you to the town of Ghostwood. Here's your visitor ID. Thank you! Is it always called Ghostwood? Yes, total coincidence. Uh. <laughs> yes, that that was my thought in this fucking town, too. <laughs> now, question, was the pencil always here? I think so, yes. But why would you care? You're going to the town hall. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want me to just tell you <laughs> no i'm just annoyed knock knock hello something i can get for you mr ryan again i'm here on behalf of the mayor of breadwood you need to permit to do some logging in this area oh this is the department of requisitions you need administration that's next door go fuck yourself that's the jail knock knock mr ryan again was it what can i do for you I'm here on behalf of the mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging area. I need to visit the Department of Goodbye. Administration for that. By the way, that's the town hall is what they're telling you. I know, but I'm looking at everything. I need... Department of Records. How can I help you, Mr. Ryan, again? Permit! Wrong Goodbye! <laughs> Salud! I need a drink immediately! No problem. Be a whiskey. Yes! Good choice. Only one small problem, though. What? I'm out of whiskey requisition for ah! I'm going down to a bit of space to take you whatever. Uh this place. <laughs> Just 
angrily crab walk through town. Whiskey! Hello, Mr. Ryan again. How can I be of service? Bar? Oh, you mean the Department of Libation. Sure, I can give you a whiskey requisition for me. Do it! Is what I'd like to say, but I'm out of foreign transfer envelope. Fuck! Can't transfer a foreign to a different department without a foreign transfer envelope to make sure it doesn't get tampered with during transport. You're a fucking idiot that your entire town is full of assholes! No, sir, this is serious business. I'll tell you what, though. They should have a supply of spare foreign transfer envelopes at the Department of Requisitions next door. I'm going to learn how to kill fire so I can burn this ghost town down with ghost fire. <laughs> Hello, something I could do for Envelope. you. Envelope! Alright, which color? Red! This is a fucking emergency! <laughs> the war have to deal Actually, with this Blue for colors for different purposes. Tan for regular department transfers. Blue for extra municipal transfers. Red for... Uh, I didn't get to need all my shit. Here! Ooh, a red one. You must really need that drink. Bye. Here you go, one whiskey requisition for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wrong place. I do think, think you're flailing your arms this angrily as you go down. Oh, red transfer envelope. You must be really thirsty. Okay, let's get this filled right up. Right again, oh. Maximus. Nice. <laughs> Can I get that whiskey now? Sorry, we're fresh out of whiskey. I mean, Max, look your character. <laughs> That's too intelligible for what I would be saying at this moment. <laughs> now, now, don't get all bent out of shape. If you go tell the Department of Requisitions, they'll send us up with a fresh case. I could just get the fucking thing and be done with this, but now I want. Now I'm committed. I'm in too far. I'm in the hole too deep. I can't leave. Whiskey. Ah, uh, thanks for letting us know. We're getting a case sent over. I don't have to fill anything out. Nope, that'll be handled and delivered. Thank fucking God. In two days. <laughs> I didn't even let me read that last part. <laughs> Why can't this cactus be solid so I could puncture every part of my orifices with it? <laughs> also, there's a, a bug just decided to fly and land on my glasses. All right. Hello, Mr. Ryan again. How can I be of service? Redwood. I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just need to review the logging records to make sure there are no disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records, it's two doors down, and tell them I need the Bradwood file pertaining to logging. <sighs> Is something wrong? Yes, your entire fucking town! <laughs> <sighs> Bradwood! Ah, you want the Department of Records? It's next door. It's the adjunct Department of Records. Gonna fucking kill you! Not that place. I'm killing you, you're already dead. Bradwood! One moment, please. Breadwood, Applewood, Antiewood, Badwood. Did you mean Bagelwood? No, Breadwood. Must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, here we are, Breadwood. Which section did you need? Obituaries. I need to know how they're written so I can prepare yours. Oh, you mean ghost birth announcements. Here you go. <sighs> Local gossip. Nope, logging records. I'm not even going to let you talk. Mm, that section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjunct department of records next door. Okay, bye. No, oh, I still have more stuff to read. <laughs> File, breadwood, whatever. Well, these pages are all loose. I can't get them to do Oh like my this. god, I'm away. just taking them next door. Well, fortunately, I happen to be the one person in town officially authorized to use a uh, stapler. I get it! <laughs> but I don't have a stapler. Give me a stapler! <laughs> I will need to fill out a requisition for Right it. again! Maximus! <laughs> nice! Your desert, your dessert preference, cake or pie? Uh, uh, cake. Look, I have two boxes here. One says cake, the other says pie. I have to put a check mark on one of them. Got you a stapler. Ah, nothing better than that new stapler now. What do I do with this? Fuck, I don't even know anymore! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 supplies, supplies, supplies. Uh, no, not you. Uh, no. Wait, wasn't it? Uh, records? Here! Uh, thank you. Right, let me just put those down in the fit. They don't get the office supply? Here! Ah, Brimwood Lucky is fine. I think it'll open a lot of. 
that idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. This is why we took his damn staple away in the first place. The file is unreadable. We're going to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. <laughs> uh, it's so much funnier when it's not me. <laughs> Let me just dance like a princess over there. <laughs> Unstaple the paper. Oh, sorry, I'm only authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Wait. I don't even see where you're trying to go now. Uh, yeah, I don't either, but I don't even care anymore. Unstaple this shit. Okay, I'm a fully authorized unstapler, so that's no problem. Wait, no, I, I'm not even seeing what's doing here. Need, need beer! Alright, just gotta take your name down for the records. <laughs> Yes, I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. I'll fucking take it. 103 meat. I'll fucking take it. Oh my god. Have some ghost beer. That one's just on me and that makes it worse. What am I doing here? Right, staple remover. Sure do. Think pasta tops off here. Excellent. Thanks. Great. Oh no, you don't need to restaple it, I guess. Here, back. Here. Okay, I can't see any problems with this. Right again, Maximus. Nice. Yep, just need a stamp that's here. Sign it here. Now you sign it here. And also here. And initial here. And also here, and initial here. And here, and sign here. Good, now just take this back to the mayor of Redwood and have him sign it on this line here and initial over here. Ah! <laughs> I like how you went, ah, and it just kind of faded. I'm taking my anger out on you! I felt like this was overkill. <laughs> Chuck, you are very lucky you're still asleep, or I would probably kill you too out of anger. Shh! Nope, you're not from Ghostwood. Try to be nice. Excuse me, Mayor, I have some papers you need to sign for that logging permit. All right, uh, oh, ghost paper. This, uh, this stuff is weird. Yep. I think I need a ghost pencil for this. Here, it took forever. After some fumbling with the ghostly pencil, the Mayor eventually manages to sign and initial the form. Bye. Bye? Wander and Sally, this is really not the time! <laughs> Please tell me you have dynamite. I will buy so much dynamite from you. Fuck Please. it, I'll buy those because it says bomb. Give me the needles oh, too. Needles. Fuck it, I'm just gonna buy everything. Except for the pickaxes, I don't. I really don't need those. <sighs> Fuck it, I'm not done. Not dealing with this shit right now. Get out of no. my way. You're killing the moon weirdo. <laughs> I don't fucking care. <laughs> I know you're frustrated at bureaucracy, but you didn't need to resort to murder. <laughs> Did killing the goblin fuck up anything? I don't know. Here. Hello, Mr. Ryan again. Great, just sign this last line at the bottom where it says receipt. Something wrong. I, I like your, your final response to all this. <laughs> All right, I there. am not dealing with you. <laughs> I got an intimidating, hey, intimidating six gun. <laughs> Yes. 
pencil, please? I'm oh, terribly sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. Uh, uh, here you go. Goodbye. Oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Ryan again. How come your service? Great science last live on, which says receipt. All right, the Terry, the Dink Care of Bedwood's logging permit is hereby approved. Ah, thank God. Processing will take about 48 hours. What? Well, everything has to be filed, and the actual permit has to be printed, and so on. You can pick it up in two days. To be fair, that's, I believe, also uh, how long they said until they get whiskey. Angrily going back to bed again. <laughs> that was an angry walk. <laughs> don't forget to become more angry before you leave. <laughs> I don't need to, honestly. Pony loving good for nothing jerk. Possum kiss a lily booty jerk. Red footed possum hunger jerk. Pony love a chicken fuck a jerk. Okay, I've prepared my insults for when I get back there. You can drink the ghost beer now, too, if you want. I really should. <sighs> also, I, I, I did find something out when I was browsing the wiki. What? You know how all that cow shit has good effects? Yeah. Uh, it turns out you eat enough of that and you become uh, tainted. But the fact that you took the kill all thing means that your body is too pure to take the stuff, so you can't. So you can't take it. So you can't taint yourself. Oh, then I sell it. I wouldn't do that just yet because there's something special you need in order to do the cow quest line, and I'm not sure how to get it. Give me the whiskey. Sure it is. I think you'll be glad to hear it. I saved that whiskey requisition for before you already filled out. You're an asshole, but you did something right. Oh, probably. You want a shot or a whole bottle? Give me every bottle. Yes, I'll, I'll take it. I'll be a thousand meat. There you go. Don't drink it all in one place. Where is it? There it is. Good question. This is a ghost bottle filled with ghost whiskey, which is too substantial for you to get a proper grip on and actually open it. Looks like you needed to order a shot. That'll be 300 meat. There you go, enjoy. No, oh, Mr. Reinigan, how can I be of service? Permit! Let me look. Ah, yes, here it is, and there you are. Am I done? Nope, sir, that's it. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the other shoot uh, shoe to drop. <laughs> Best get an awking permit yet. <sighs> that is definitely going to improve the situation around here. Thank you. 